Democrats made a clean sweep of Virginia's statewide offices Tuesday. Republican gubernatorial candidate Ed Gillespie received significantly fewer votes than the rest of his party's statewide ticket that showed a closer affinity with President Donald Trump's agenda. While so called never Trump Republicans were quick to blame the president's unpopularity or simply the unviability of populist nationalism in general for the defeat of one time GOP establishment favorite Gillespie. The numbers belay such a simple explanation. With virtually all votes counted Tuesday night, Republican Lt. Gov. Candidate Jill Vogel received approximately 50,000 more votes than Gillespie. Attorney General candidate John D. Adams got about 45,000 more than Gillespie. Both lost to their Democrat opponents, Justin Fairfax and Mark Herring, respectively. Contrary to the hashtag Never Trump narrative, which blamed Gillespie's shortfall, in part, on his late turn towards populism with ads referencing the fight against illegal immigration and the preservation of Virginia's Confederate history, if anything, the two better faring statewide Republicans more warmly embraced Trumpism. Gillespie was rarely seen as a hard right populist, serving under John Cash and George W. Bush in his political tutelage, before briefly becoming chairman of the Republican National Committee. He, Despite running a more hardline campaign in the waning days of his quest for the Virginia governorship, ran as a decided anti-populist as recently as this summer, when he took on Prince William County Supervisor Corey Stewart for the nomination.